Now let's look at measures of weight noted in ounces and pounds. Weighing is faster, easier, and more accurate than measuring. Two types of scales are used, traditional and electronic. The electronic scale has a digital readout and a tear button that allows weighing ingredients without including the weight of the container. Simply place the empty container on the scale, press the tear button, and the readout returns to zero. Additional items can be weighed in the same container by using the tear button. Balance and spring scales are types of traditional scales. Balance scales will be more accurate than spring scales. The balance scale is used in the baking area for weighing ingredients in one-fourth to one-half ounce graduations up to 25 or 30 pounds. Portion scales are also spring type scales. They're used in cooking areas to weigh individual portions of foods such as cheeses or meats. They weigh items one to two pounds in one-fourth ounce graduations. Traditional scales have dials that are either fixed or adjustable. If the dial is adjustable, place the container on the platform and turn the pointer to zero. Next, add the ingredient until the dial reflects the required weight. If additional ingredients are needed, they can be weighed in the same container by adjusting the dial. Just turn the pointer back to zero before adding the next ingredient. Now we weighed one pound of flour and six ounces of shortening in the same container. If the dial is fixed, place the empty container on the platform, record the weight of the container. Next, add the ingredient until the total weight equals the required weight plus the weight of the container. For example, if the weight of the container is 10 and a half ounces and the required weight is one pound, one pound equals 16 ounces. So add the ingredient until the weight reaches 26 and a half ounces. Accuracy is very important when weighing ingredients. If the pointer moves slightly to either side of the zero once the measuring container has been removed, use the adjustment mechanism to set the pointer back to zero before using the scale again. Now let's see just how much time is saved by weighing ingredients instead of measuring them. On one side of the screen, we'll measure four cups of flour, two and an eighth cups or two cups plus two tablespoons of shortening, and four fluid ounces of water. On the other side of the screen, we'll weigh the equivalent of each ingredient, one pound of flour, one half pound of shortening, and four ounces of water. Measuring time took almost three minutes, while weighing took about a minute and a half. Remember, whether measuring or weighing, always use standardized equipment, make measurements level, and use the largest appropriate container. And keep in mind that weighing is more accurate than